Hey everybody, welcome to day four of the Super 7. Seven tips, seven secret tips to help you be better prepared for Minnesota's walleye season coming up on Saturday. We've been talking a lot about jig fishing. Today we're gonna talk about the slip sinker live bait rig, the roach rig, the lindy rig, whatever you wanna call it. But right here, I'm, I've got a rig rigged up right here. It's kind of tough to see. And I'll actually put a diagram on the screen for those of you that don't know what a rig is. But that classic roach rig, rindy, lindy rig setup works in a couple situations situations for me. Let's say I'm out on that Shiner Lake and on Saturday we have a good catch. The weather is warm, it's stable, the fish are up kind of on the top lip and shallower, they're aggressively feeding. That night a front comes through. Or maybe the water didn't quite get there to bring the shiners up and the walleyes really haven't moved real shallow yet. In either case, a lot of times what happens is they're just holding down that first drop off. And a lot of the shiner lakes that I fish, it's maybe 14 to 25. I've even caught them out in 30 foot on opening day. But what they're doing is they're just hanging out off that deeper edge, waiting for those good feeding conditions, and then they move up. But when they're down off those edges, that's when the slip sinker live bait rig really, really shines. And all I'll do is I'll cruise those edges using my new Raymarine element, and I'll look. I'll find those fish. I'll find small groups, maybe three or four fish. Sometimes I see some shiners around them as well. I mark them and I slowly work through them with a spot tail on a rig. And I, like I said, I go slow. I, when I mark fish, I'll actually kind of hold the boat in place, let that spot tail shiner struggle in their faces, and lots of times they get bit. So when the bite is good, it's the jig in the minnow. But anytime the bite's a little bit off on a shiner lake and the fish are a little bit deeper, the rig really shines in those cases. So look for those irregularities, those small points and turns on those edges, and you'll find those walleyes. Hey, sign up for this contest to win this great Fish in the Midwest sweatshirt. Simply comment on this video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And tomorrow, we're gonna talk about what's the best time of the day to be on the water on the fishing opener. We'll see you tomorrow.